Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Civ 4 with our six top lane people. We're doing really well up here. I'm starting to worry, though, that I haven't focused enough on the military. In these games, I tend to get a little, like, like we've gone down this path. Like, we're really good into literature and drama and working on mathematics and, like, music and stuff. Like, really fun, cool stuff. And sometimes I ignore the military when I shouldn't. Alright, so you guys, why don't you all just... Oh, let's move you down here. Alright, we're going to try and build a new city here, I think, next time. The rest of the Empire looks okay. We need to get more of a military going, though. I don't think I have enough people to defend in our units. Looking at the enemy here, like, they have Axemen. Um, I think they're more technologically advanced than us and militarily. That can be very... <laughs> well, I don't need to spell it out to you. If in other sciences we should arrive at certainty without doubt and truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundations of knowledge in mathematics. That's right, it hooves. It's all about cows. All right, so let's see. I wanted to do music. I really want to do music. If I do music, though, if somebody, like, attacks me, we're fucked. But I really want to do music. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to do music. Let's build a little city, Sousa. Let's have them build a granary. Why not? How do you fortify, sir? We will have you build a road to there. And you guys, uh, horse guys, you just stay there on that board and watch. Keep your eye out. Watch these shifty dudes. Shifty McMongol face. Alright, so why don't we have Port of Pants. Um, why don't we have them build a Spearman. I guess we'll have these guys build a Spearman too. <clears throat> I really hate spending the money on the military. I wish in a perfect world we'd only be able to... We'd only have to spend it on things like education and tech, but whatever. It's not a perfect world. All right, we gotta get Beaver Town hooked up. Get the beavers going there, so people can have beaver hats and be fancy. I'm a fancy beaver head. So you say when you put your head in a beaver. All right, well, why don't we have you guys build? I guess we'll have you guys build a spearman too. And we'll have you guys build, I don't know, an Axeman, I guess? I don't want to build too much military. That might be too much already. We just we just need to be properly defended. Let's see. Bismarck offer us a sailing if we give him meditation. I think meditation is pretty far down. Um, would you let me do that too? What would make this deal work? Oh, no, no, no. All right, we'll take sailing for meditation. That will help us. That'll help us with trade routes and stuff. All right, so Whore Town, why don't you build? Oh, I don't even know what to have you build. I'll have you build an axeman too? You can't direct the wind, but you can adjust your sail. See, now we can do trading on the coast. That's pretty cool. So that actually means Beaver Town doesn't probably need to be a road, have a road to hooked up to it. To uh, yep, look now it's got all this stuff. At least I think that's what did it. I have to unfortunately spend a little less on research. Let's talk to Genghis Khan. We'd like to make a trade proposal. Would you like meditation? What would you give me for this? You're not gonna give me anything. Not even. Oh, whatever. Go suck a dick. What about you, Julius Caesar? If I give you meditation, what would you give me for this? Nothing? Come on, ass fuck! Seriously! Like, serious, dude! 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 No, don't give me that look, Julius Caesar. Dude, you need meditation. You look stressed out. Go fuck yourself. Oh, that's probably not good diplomacy. <laughs> Alright, you guys, why don't you build, um... Why don't you build a cottage there? Kind of wouldn't mind offering open borders to these guys. It might be a mistake, but if they built something here, we might be able to culturally take them out. 
I do worry about their troops being in my territory, though. Um, Genghis Khan. He's annoyed. Um, let's see, who, who else? Oops, I'm sorry. Julius Caesar is cautious. There's a better way to look at this. Bismarck is cautious. Why don't I allow... I don't even know who's the strongest of them all. Where's the, um... Is that it? No, well, they're all pretty close. We're the light blue one here. Big dick is slow. We're starting to trail off. That might be a big mistake. But you know what? I'm going to take a risk. Uh, Genghis Khan. Where are you? Would you like open borders? Oh, you don't want it? Well, then go fuck yourself. Julius Caesar, would you like open borders? Um... Will you give me some dye, too? Alright. It, it's a stupid long shot, but I figure, you know, maybe I'll let him go up here, they'll form some cities, and then hopefully, culturally, they'll join us. Maybe it's a bad idea. It's partly that, and it's partly I'm afraid of my enemies now, because <laughs> I've been spending all my money on, we're going to make music! How do you defend yourself with music? We're going to sing a song at them so they don't hurt us. Alright, why don't we build... Uh... We can build a theater there. You guys wait there. Oh, look, our culture expanded to this region. Cool, cool, cool. Right up to Frankfurt and stuff. Oh, I do not like the enemy, though. If we get music... What the hell? Bismarck! The time for talking is over, Big Dickus. We shall settle this on the battlefield. Big Dickus declares war. You are the Big Dickus. Wait, I'm Big Dickus. Genghis Khan, we'd like to make a trade proposal. Can you, um, declare war on... You don't like me enough? Why don't you like me? I'm your friend or some shit, aren't I? If I give you... Oh. Seriously? Like, seriously, man? Alright, we've got to defend the city. We defended this city on rock and roll. All right, we built an axeman here. I guess we'll build a spearman. We need to get some better troop stuff going. We can't do music for long. Uh, spearman, I guess. All right, you will defend here, just in case anybody else wants to go to war with us. Axeman, to the front! What are the odds there? Oh, God, the odds are terrible there. I'm just going to defend. I still like as the leader of these people. I'm like, no, we'll research music. I need my f rad, funky, fresh beats. I've got to have the beats. <laughs> All right, let's build an immortal, I guess. They're not great, but... Oh, I want to build the Globe Theater. Another immortal. God, those odds are terrible on the attack for us. All right, other axe, man. Oh, I have to lower that a little bit, too. Damn, damn, damn. Got to move you to the front. Oh man, those odds are ridiculous. Hmm. All right, fuck it. We're gonna just bypass them, and we're gonna try and head down here and attack the archers. I think that makes sense. Just, it's too hard for us to attack those guys. Let's build a Spearman. Alright, you come down here and defend them. They raided something we had there, but whatever. What a bunch of ass clowns. Clowning it up, assing it up with their ass clowny asses. I want these guys dead. Can we attack them? No. Right, get out of my territory, fuck buddies. Well, they're not really my... Well, you know what I mean. I want my music! Alright, you just wait there, Axeman. Why don't we have you guys build an immortal too? Oh, I thought it said an immoral at first. Why are we building immoral people? Okay, I, I feel like I'm building way too many. Ooh, we can build a theater in one turn there? That's what's going to happen. You just wait there. How many arches they got there? Three? It's kind of a long... We have slight advantage. 
Damn it, kill him. Alright, so I guess this guy will attack next. Alright, last guy. You go in. No, oh, what? Yeah, you better stab him in his stupid face. Seriously. Alright, X-Men, you come down here. And then we'll just move uh, you in there. Yeah, and you guys, you, um, I don't know, build a road out here or something. Just get away from the enemy. Oh, where's that scout guy that was here? Did they, oh, uh, maybe they destroyed it? Alright, we'll send you down here. You will fortify to defend this. You are going to have to heal. He barely survived. You are going to have to wait. Alright, other immortal unit. Who are we fighting? Okay, we're just fighting the crowds. Spirit Man, forward. And you wait. How are they doing technologically? They have Axemen, so they must be similar technology-wise to us. He's like, speak with you, don't make me laugh. Why'd you attack me, dude? I think he's jealous of my awesome music we're gonna have soon. Dude, we built a theater down here. That's gotta be good. Um, I wanna build a granary. Why don't we build a library? So we can check out all my favorite books. Take a look, it's in a book. Oh, balls. No, we're going to go here and defend this city. If they want to come and try and raid it, they're going to have to go through us. And you can build a mine up there. You just wait, sir. Alright, let's see if we can finish off this uh, archer. Oh, fuck balls. Yeah! Yes, we're going to install a new governor. That was kind of loud. Can we, um... Can we rename Frankfurt? Hell yeah! We're going to rename it Sexfurt! Oh! And because it's on the river, it's got all the good stuff that our empire has. Sexfurt City, USA. Well, I guess we're not USA, we're Sextopolians. Alright, now you can see there are three people there in open revolt. They don't want to accept that we are their new leaders. But soon the Sexfurtians will accept all of us. Hey, Bismarck, you want to quit the war now? I took one of your cities, fuckface. Okay, uh, you guys heal in there as you try and put down the rebellion. Ooh, when we're turning, we get music, too. Funky fresh beats coming right your way. Um, let's see. What do you think of this deal? The alphabet for that? Um, uh, care to negotiate? What would make this deal work? No, uh, we accept your offer. I don't really know I should do that, but I'm just scared of extra wars. If music be the food of love. Play on. Yeah. First discover receives a great artist. We can construct the cathedral. We can build culture, and it leads to military tradition. So let's see. Where's military tradition? Did I go too far? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I want that. Uh, I don't know if it's worth waiting that long to get. I mean, if we're going to go that far, I'd rather just... Oh. Dang, I did not... Uh, we should build currency. We need some money. Oh, we should build iron working. No, let's build horseback riding. That's what we build first. So we can build horse archers. Um, let's build... Oh, shoot. Let's build a Spearman. Let's build an Axeman. Let's build a Library. For everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Let's see. It would make the Stonehenge obsolete for us and obelisks, but we don't really have if any of those, I don't think. National... Oh, we're building the National Epic here? Fuck balls. 
Okay, right here we have a great artist. We can either have him... Oh, I forgot about that. Let's have him... How risky do I want to get? What he can basically do is he can go somewhere and he'll join as a super specialist, which will make uh, create extra culture each turn to raise some money. Or he can discover technology. Or he can do a great work of art that will greatly increase the culture. Like, if I'm really taking a big risk, I could have him go down here and do that when I would expand it, or go down to Sousa. I think we're going to have the great artist go down to Sousa. Um, I don't think that worked quite the way I wanted it to. Alright, next time we're going to try and get rid of these axemen that have crossed this far into our territory. We should have enough. We might lose some people, but... I think that'll be okay. All right, you guys move up there too. Oh, we got a whole little army we can move south. And hopefully we can get the great artists in Susan and have them make some amazing work and then our blue lines, our border, our culture should expand. It's like a culture bomb, son. All right, immortal. Oh, I don't want to build too many troops because then our upkeep's going to go up dramatically. You just wait there, sir. And you get stronger. That's his bonus. When you win enough battles, sometimes you get bonuses and like you can be stronger. Or whatever. So. Alright, we can build another mortal. Oh man, I would love to build the Globe Theater. You know, like Shakespeare up in this shit. An aqua duck. That's a duck that likes water. <laughs> what? Alright, let's build. Um, I don't know if we really need more workers. Oh man, there's all these other things we could build. I would love to build Notre Dame, but I don't. That would take 41 turns. I don't think that's worth it at this point. Somebody else will probably beat it to it anyway. We're gonna build the aqueducts. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna keep building a library there. All right, dudes. Uh, how do I pick all these guys? All right, let's attack these guys. Suck axe, bitch! Get the fuck out of my territory! Okay, so I'm gonna pull up the horses separately, move them forward, because they should be a little faster, and the rest of the ground troops will move up towards Sexfort. We're gonna make this immortal guy stronger. He gets those choices, because he was built in a barracks. If you're built in a barracks, you can build, um, you get like one free perk like that. You will just fortify and defend. You will fortify and defend. Defend Sexfort and all our Sexfortian people. Uh, I need to discover iron at some point. At some point, I'm going to probably put my workers on auto because I get really lazy with that micromanagement. I know I shouldn't, but I'm like, why bother? I'm a lazy pants. Well, we seem to be doing okay. All right, we built an Axeman. Why don't we build... Why don't we build a barracks, just in case? We'll build a theater down here in Sexfertian, so they can put on Sexfertian plays. Um, why don't you go up there? I, I don't know how much area the uh, crowds have. Move you guys up. It's okay for me to call them things like that, even if it's offensive. Why? Because we're at war! War means you can be offensive. We're gonna move this warrior up. I know, you're probably like, I can't believe the Germans would start a war. <laughs> oh, I can't talk too much. I'm an American, so... <laughs> we're going to build a camp here. All right, so we're going to do a culture bomb here, more or less. Oh, I kind of want to do it there, but I'm worried it's Sexfort's out too far. So our Homer, our great artist, is going to do a great work of art, and you should see these lines expand as our culture does. See? We now own this territory and these territories here. Because this has so much more culture now. And it's like encroaching upon the neighbors. Excellent. Oh man, look! We might actually get these gems! Oh, that's really cool. Uh, we'll have to build some mines here. This was formerly in Roman territory. But now it's in our territory. I like that. Um, we gotta get our army to the front. In fact, we gotta get a, we gotta get a road going down here. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I think I had my Skype on. 
<laughs> like, where the fuck is that coming from? You know what, though, everybody? I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, the war will continue, and hopefully, hopefully we'll win it. I'm glad we took sex for it. I am still a little worried if the neighbors attack us. I feel like we're just behind technologically. I am glad we made music, though. Making sex and music. Goodbye.